So I needed a water chiller for my CO2 laser because it's in a hot metal shed and that little AC unit doesn't do much in here. So just air cooled wasn't going to cut it. So I picked up this mini fridge on offer up through a cheap thermostat control off of Amazon in there. Put a jug of water inside, stuck the freezer unit, which is actually the coil, the evaporator coil, down in there. So it's submerged in the water partially. Cheap aquarium pump at the bottom. Wired the thermostat in to shut the compressor off and on. It actually just shuts off all power to the fridge, which pretty much the only thing this fridge does is has a compressor. Uh, disconnected the refrigerator's built-in thermostat. And, oh wait, did I disconnect it or did I disconnect it? I can't remember. Alright, yeah, it looks like it's gone. Uh, yeah, I just grabbed it. Drilled a couple holes in the top for tubing and Jake saw a little hole for the thermostat and it was like 40 bucks for this fridge, or no, 30. And that was like under 20 for that thermostat. It was uh, 300, I think, 350 for the commercial model. So. It works good for me. Just figured I'd post this for anybody else out there that might be working on their own CO2 laser and not want to pay the ridiculous price of a commercial cooler. You know, obviously it doesn't have a flow alarm or temperature alarm, but I just got this little flow sensor hooked it into my laser power supplies flow sensor switch. I've tested it, it works perfectly. And I'm going to got this I'm building this little inline temp sensor. Another cheapo thermometer unit I got off Amazon. I put this in my control panel up here so that I'll have the temperature front and sensor uh, front and center when I'm doing any cuts and you know hopefully I'm aware enough to notice if it gets high. You could probably find a thermometer with an alarm on it but eh, I searched for like 15 minutes and got lazy and gave up. So this is the further fabrication model that I built this based on. I mean it's basically unchanged. I swapped out these tensioners because those 3D printed ones are absolute trash. They are very nearly unusable. I got some aluminum models intended for I think the Creality CR10 and I just took the chop saw and very carefully cut this belt area out a little wider to allow for the wider belt and then the pulley is actually basically two bearings stacked together so I just stuck a washer in the center and it was just wide enough that's a huge improvement definitely recommend doing that and I got this adjustable laser head module that replaces the stock unit uh, it was supposed to be a bolt-on replacement. Got it from uh, Cloudray. Same place I got all my other stuff, but as you can see, I had to do some stuff to it. Some of it wasn't pretty. I don't recommend getting this. At least not with the head I have and the rail I want to connect it to. It just it doesn't really work. Uh, maybe just shim the head to get the right height. 
and you can adjust back and forth on this mirror that's not in here right now or find some other adjustable head oh no I'm planning to upgrade these dual steppers that drive the gantry to the single stepper like he has in his latest video because this gantry is always getting out of line and it's super annoying <clears throat> definitely recommend just building it that way from the beginning I actually haven't got this thing cut properly yet all my circles have been kind of you can't see particularly well but this one you kind of can or it doesn't quite meet back up they're a little bit egged This one's real bad. I think that's when I was messing with settings, trying to fix it. Anyway, so I'm still trying to sort that out. But good luck to everybody out there. Hopefully that mini fridge tip helps somebody out because I was searching for DIY laser water chillers and I found very little helpful information out there about it.